hi everyone welcome to the channel and thank you so much for supporting the channel by subscribing i would request you like the videos if this is going to help you and if you have any questions please do comment as well so let's start today we are going to discuss about fixed asset issue so user comes and user says that he has transferred one asset fixed asset uh, within the company code say like this is uh, asset a or asset 1 and this is asset 2 so user has transferred asset a to asset b or from asset 1 to asset 2 within the same company code so we use the t code a b m u n Using this transaction code, user has transferred the asset. Now he has problem with the calculation in the new asset. Okay, so if so, everything I'm going to explain in detail. I have taken the screenshot and uh, I have done the calculation. What is the expectation of user is that his concern is that depreciation calculated is not correct okay so first thing note down here is that this asset depreciation start date is 19th may 2023 this new asset asset number two and in the old asset as well they had the same depreciation date start date so they want to keep the same date now thing is that in the old asset useful life was 25 years and then new asset useful life is 3 years and when they transfer the asset how i have calculated the value i'll show you in the another sheet but first let us understand what is user's expectation for example here the amount was 1000 apc i'll come to the actual value just to give an example select so apc like uh, asset acquisition value was 1000 and once he has transferred this asset to asset number two okay so here he wanted to calculate depreciation on 1000 whereas this asset has already been depreciated for few months right so there is already accumulated depreciation so when he transfer this asset here then we should uh, we should reduce the accumulated depreciation so like this is 100 so how much should be the apc or net book value for your new asset should be 900 right now the depreciation should be calculated on 900 for the useful life and what percentage you have in your depreciation key so we are using straight line depreciation key based on the useful life so here if it is 25 years 1000 will be divided by 25 years and here it is three years so this netbook value should be divided by three years but his expectation is that this 1000 entire amount apc amount has to be divided by three right so we need to explain to user the functionality how this works and how system is calculating this depreciation okay now before this let me take you to the actual data here okay so let me start from here this is the old asset with useful life 25 years when the asset was acquired this is the acquisition value or apc value okay 276 this asset acquisition was done on 19th may and this was transferred to another asset using abumn transition code on 31st march so that means for how many days this asset has been utilized okay from this date till this date if you see this has been utilized for 318 days okay and we are using straight line depreciation 
depreciation to the day in the depreciation key we have setting depreciation to the day so for 318 days depreciation has been calculated and 959630 rupees has been posted as accumulated depreciation in this asset okay so this is the data of old asset now coming to the new asset okay in the new asset we have given useful life as 3 years uh, for 3 years days will be 1095 days in 3 years and how many days this asset was used already in old asset it was used for 318 days correct so remaining useful life for your new asset will be 777 now see here net book value this is what APC minus accumulated depreciation in old asset that would be your net book value in your new asset already depreciated in asset number 58 how many days 318 days so how many days left so 1095 days total useful life as for three years minus already used 318 days so balance is 777 days in new set and depreciation start date for both asset this asset number 58 and 70 we have the same date ordinary depreciation same date okay starting from the 19th may 2023 so that's why in the new asset also system will start calculating depreciation from this date but from this date i mean from 19th may 2023 till 31st march 2024 this asset was utilized under asset number 58 okay so in your asset number 70 which is your new asset with useful life 3 years useful life is 1098 days but since you are saying that the start date is 19th may okay and this asset was transferred on when 31st march so already 318 days we need to reduce from this new asset once 318 days are reduced from useful life then for new asset the remaining useful life will be 777 and depreciation per day how much it would be you can calculate this should come your uh, netbook value divided by remaining useful life right so it comes uh, 34301.63 this is per day and per year how much it comes so per day multiply by 365 right okay one cr 25 lakh 20097 rupees this is per year so if you see now in the asset master this is your new asset master after transfer if you see every year asset uh, depreciation comparison tab if you see the depreciation for 2024 would be uh, 1252097 right 1252097 same thing for the next year how many days left for year 2026 See, we have total how many 770 so 777 minus so for two years 365 365 okay 770 minus 365 again 365 how many days left 47 and per day depreciation is this much so per day depreciation multiply by 47 
so we are getting the same value 1612177 right 1612177 so this is what we need to explain to the user so now let us summarize so we have four points here to summarize this uh, scenario okay so the first point is the net book value of asset number 7001 which is our new asset okay so the net book value of new asset will be divided by remaining useful life which is 1095 days minus 318 days which was already used in old asset so how many days we have triple seven remaining useful life for new asset now since depreciation date of new asset is same as old asset the useful life of new asset will be reduced by number of days old asset was depreciated correct so the useful life is already reduced and this would be triple seven since we have depreciation start date same as old asset now apc is reduced by depreciation amount posted in old asset that's correct right so i have this is my apc value okay 276 this has to be reduced by the accumulated depreciation or the depreciation posted in old asset which is 959630 when i transfer this asset to the new asset so that's what i have mentioned here APC is reduced by depreciation amount posted in old asset in fiscal year 2023. Okay, so the last point is since fiscal year 2023 is closed, so new asset cannot do depreciation recalculation for 318 days. And these 318 days anyway is utilized in old asset. Even though the fiscal year would be open also, if you do the recalculation, this will not post in your new asset but that we haven't tested but that's what my assumption because we, we haven't tested that you can try to test this scenario okay so hence system has divided net book value for remaining useful life from 1st april 2024 onwards then it will have triple seven days so this is how system has depicted this depreciation comparison so 2023 depreciation was not there it will show in the value adjustment because this depreciation was posted under another asset and for this asset for our new asset this is the net book value and from 2024 onwards this will calculate the depreciation for full year and for 2025 fiscal year also it will calculate for full year and for remaining and for uh, fiscal year 2026 how many days left for those many days only system will calculate the depreciation so how many days were 47 days and for 47 days if you multiply with per day depreciation then this will come this much only so i hope this uh, scenario was helpful and you could understand if you have not please message or email me and i'll try to answer this your question Alright, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Thank you.